I cannot believe this. I've bashed my van. I've just hit a postmate. <laughs> We've been stuck living under the same roof and it's, it's not workable. It's stunning. Tim's asked me to come into the garden, stand still, close my eyes, because apparently he's got something for me. I feel a bit of a prune now. Hello, Richard. Oh, hello, Tim. Can I open my eyes? You can open your eyes now, mate. Oh, fantastic. Oh, right. I wonder what the, what's in here, then. Is this for me? This is for you. You're going to love it. Am I? Yeah. What is it, a lolly? Yeah. It's a flagpole. A flagpole? A flagpole. <laughs> oh, OK. And I think you might need this as well. What's that? A flag. A flag? A flag. A flag for the flagpole. A flag for the flagpole. <sighs> what the bloody hell am I going to do with that? Life rarely runs smoothly. There are bumps and knocks along the way. And when things do get damaged, we need to decide what to keep and what to throw away. There are some things, however, too important to discard so easily, and they must be fought for with all our might. England is one such thing for me. It's just starting to rain. All the way here, I had blue sky and now it's starting to rain. There you go. Welcome to the channel and welcome to another of my slightly longer format once a week bald explorers. And it's very nice to have your company for the next 30 odd minutes. I just parked up to get this shot in here with the view that I might be parking here for the night and do a bit of a wild camp and then I bashed the top of my van on a tree I was just trying to level the van up and I've dented it it's ah oh, I have I that's the first proper big bloody dent I've put on my van so I've completely devalued my van now that's it damn it it's gonna cost a fortune to have that repaired but never mind so I'm here at Little Horsted, which is just south, I suppose, or, or is it maybe west of Uckfield in East Sussex. It's a lovely church, though. It's a lovely church. I know very little about it. But let's go and have a, a little walk round before the rain comes down. It might, it might brighten up a little bit. The church at Little Horsted is dedicated to St Michael and all the angels. The name Horsted refers to a place where horses are kept, and the spread out village is mentioned in the Doomsday Book. I've passed this lovely looking church many times on the Lewis to Uckfield Road, but never stopped before, and I'm so pleased I did this time. I love looking at churches, the fabric of the building, because you can sort of decipher a hell of a lot just by going around. And, and looking at this particular set of windows here, it sort of makes me think that this must be the chancel, the, probably the oldest part of the church. And looking at some of these windows, I don't know, early Norman, uh, I would think. Um, and then it, you've got these very narrow little windows here, but these slightly larger window openings that have been since filled in and then the smaller windows subsequently replaced again so there's something curious going on there and so i think this is much older 
than the rest of the fabric of the church. But I could be wrong. As I say, I know very little about it. I um, haven't had a chance to do any homework. But sometimes that's reward in itself, just going there and speculating. That's what I like. Sadly, can't get in, it's locked, which is a bit of a shame. We'd uh, probably find an information sheet on the inside. Very often churches, of course, do have that. And, and I've got the time to sit here and uh, have a look and read it. And then the plan was to sort of perhaps go around and have a, a look tomorrow. The sun is coming out now, which is lovely. However, because I've dented the van, I'm gonna go back and have a, an examination of that and it sort of put my mood in a bit of a black one. So I don't know if I'm gonna stay here. I may just move on. As I walk away, I noticed that there was a campsite adjacent to the church and only 10 pounds a night something worth considering but with my mood blackened I wasn't really sure if I wanted to stay or simply go home. Tim Trick has turned up. Hello Tim. Hello Richard, are you okay? Yes, you've um noticed what I've done to my van. I have noticed. Ouch is all I can say. Yes, and the poor old van is wincing behind me. Mm. Not as much as my wallet, of course, is going to be. But there you go. It's, um, it happens. It happens. These things happen. It's fixable. But yes. I yeah. just hope the man who sold me the van, who looked after it so well and said to me, please look after the van, is not watching. Because <laughs> he'll be wincing too. It's a, it's a shame, but it is. it's my fault. I should have paid more attention, but I've only got one eye. But it's not mm. much of a defense, I know. So we're gonna lip, nip in your car, gonna leave the van here, because obviously I'm a peril on the roads, um, and we're gonna go to the pub. We are gonna go to the pub, and I cannot wait. Hopefully we can get something better to eat than we did the other day. Fantastic, in the pub. In the pub. Let's go. We'll come back to our antics in the pub a little later and find out whether I book at the campsite after all. Earlier in the week, Julia and I met up on the South Downs. It's blooming raining now. The weather has changed this week, Julia. It has. It was beautifully sunny yesterday and it's changed today and I'm not very happy about that, but I've got to put up with it. We're it's on, England, it's going to rain. We're on Beeding Hill in the east side of the Ada Valley with um, Recede somewhere nearby. Anyway, um, we're here. We've got the flag pole that uh, Tim very generously gave. Um, let's shut that door. You, you, you right to do that? Yeah, it needs a big, yeah. needs a big swipe, that I one. I got it, I got it. Right, come with me. Hang on, I need to uh, just lock the van because there's tea and coffee in there and I don't want anyone to nick it. So we're going to go and fly this flag. I thought <clears throat> this gave me a great idea for this theme for the video today, or at least part of the theme, um, with all the other bits and bobs that we're doing. And that is, we've got a quest for England. Yeah. So I want to, I don't want to be ashamed of being English. I feel that there is a lot of there's a lot of stigma about it. Yes, and I, I mean, I know it goes back to, what, the 60s, 70s, but maybe the 80s, when the skinheads and the National Front sort of hijacked the English flag mm. and um, had made it sort of almost that you feel guilty to be English. And of course, now there's a bit of this wokery that's going on that also is, is having that. But the Welsh are happy to be Welsh, the Scottish are happy to be Scottish, mm -hmm. the Irish are proud to be Irish. I just think we should be proud to be English. I wonder if part of the problem is, like, for example, my age, I mean, I was just a little girl when all of that was going on, you know, um, so I, I had 
I don't know. What? It's strange. For me, the, the, it's, football has made a bad name for us overseas, you know? Right, yeah, yeah and that. That, that's the thing. The only time people f w fly the flag is when there's an England match going on. And that's and why we're not allowed to fly it. As ever, I've been relegated to just holding the camera. They're all doing the... they? One. Me, myself and I? Yes, they. are all doing the fun bits. I'm holding it. I haven't changed my I'm pronouns. I'm holding the flag. Fun. I haven't changed my pronouns. Have you not? Oh, no. apparently you should change your pronoun. That's the thing. Um, I may be non-binary, but... I, oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what I would change my pronouns to. Um, hmm. The? You could call me the. As in, I share my first name with the Queen, you know. The Queen is called The, <laughs> and I'm The Bold Explorer. Just call me The for short. Nice title. Mm, right. Thanks. Can I have the flag, please? Oh, yes, of course. Thanks. Yes, hurry up. We've got a flag to fly. This is actually a really great flagpole because it's, it's very lightweight aluminium. Um, I don't know what you is would... Lightweight what now? Uh, aluminium. Al aluminium. Al that's what I said, didn't aluminum. I? Aluminum. Aluminum. They're safer with that. Alum, aluminium. 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 Are you copper bottoming them, my man? No, I'm aluminiuming <laughs> them, mum. You try saying that one. That look cool. All right, she's getting a bit carried away now. Oh. Ow! <laughs> yes. She bumped my head. It's a good job. It's aluminium. 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 Bloody. Can't get the staff, can you? Just can't get the staff. I'll do some first aiding in a minute. Right, let's get this bloody thing up. Ah, I know it's silly. I know it's crazy. It's a simple thing. But uh, yeah, I think it's great. We are claiming the flag. We need to find more hills, more hilltops, and just for that one second or two, we're claiming our proud Englishness in our quest for England. So this hill, what is it called again? Beeding Hill. Beeding Hill. I claim this Beeding, Beeding hill, hill as a part of England.
Sounds good. Like a plan. Okay. Um, water. You got the water? Over here. Okay, I've got the kettle. Um, and I've got tea and coffee. I've so got a, a brunch at this time, bacon and eggs and all of that. That was rather nice, wasn't it? Was it was lovely. Yeah. So, um, you wanted to tell me about the situation that's going on in your life or to talk about it a bit. Yes. Um, things are tricky at the minute, have been for a while. Um, and really just kind of trying to come up with a solution. And, well, I've also been bitten by the van lifer bug. Right. I want a little piece of it. <laughs> yeah. I know I get to come and join you. Yeah, it's not the time. same it's if it's much... not your own. No, um, it's not. Do you want to put that on the stove? That would help. I was going to ask for you to... to... Oh, weigh it out. Yes, because you... <laughs> yeah, that's quite heavy. You've got a good... Is that's that quite heavy, yeah. I'm just going to tip some of it away. See, that's why I asked you to feel it. There we go. Try that. Otherwise, yeah. it'll take forever to boil. That's the thing. That we don't want. So, go on then. What's, what's occurring? Well, I've been split up from my husband for about 10 months now, ele yes. 11 months now. And um, we've been, for various reasons, we've been stuck living under the same roof and it's, it's not workable. It's, yeah, I went know, through a similar thing, splitting up with Dawn. We were living separate lives, but in the same house with kids and we were doing it for the sake of the kids. It's just a nightmare. Yeah, I mean, in some ways it's convenient, but in other ways it's, it's just, it's not right. It doesn't feel right and it's... No, and you need Very to... Very stressful. So, so you what, you're moving out? Yes, yeah, so I've bought, or I'm in the process of buying a caravan. Okay, wow. That sounds fantastic. Yes, it's only a temporary solution, but... And where are you going to put it? I, <laughs> and that is the question, isn't it? I'd love for there to be somewhere that I could temporarily put, you know... Or, but where are you going to put it immediately? Immediately it's going to have to go on my mum and dad's driveway, which is right. in Hampshire. Right, okay, yeah. So you're going to take it down there and stay in there for a while? Yeah, yeah. Um, and see how it goes. Yeah, Small yeah. caravan, two kids, one Geronimo Joe. Geronimo Joe, which will be interesting. But so, yeah, so really you need to find something where you could either put it in a field or somebody's garden or something while you sort out the, mm. what, the divorce the and the house yeah. and, and the, the pure... All of the <laughs> that is entailed in that. Yeah, because what, you're going to have to sell your house, aren't you? And your ex and you will go your separate ways mm. and take the money. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, we don't know what's going to happen, but we, we may have to actually just sell the house. Yeah. There's a lot more involved, but... Well, of course, it's, it's, it's really a very... Can't talk about it. No, 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 I appreciate fair. that, yeah. But, um, yeah, so the caravan's a temporary solution, um, and I'm excited about it. It's, uh, I'm finally feeling... There's but, something yeah. to, to, to No, to no, I'm, I'm excited for you because I think you'll be a lot more happier without that stress that can come from a dysfunctional family. Yeah, unfortunately. I didn't bring any milk, so all my cool box. Let's just move around here. Oh, well, I'm... Black coffee for you, then. Black coffee for me. Sugar for you. So, well, this is uh, interesting times and you don't mind the channel following what goes on. No, I mean, it's... it's Relatable, I suppose, isn't it? Uh, there'll be other Most people. Most people go through, go through, go through something like it. Yes. Yes, yeah, she'll be mother. My brain's not quite with it. No, no, I can understand that. So, you're getting the van. You're buying it from Tim. I am. Which is fantastic. Yeah. I mean, Tim's such a great friend, and he's been a a rock, hasn't he? He has. He's such a, a lovely gentleman. Yeah. We're, we're lucky. There, there's loads of friends that to. to to turn through to. the channel. Well, you, I mean, you never know. There may be somebody watching who, you know, or has semi-permanent hookup for me. <laughs> semi-permanent hookup or a peppercorn right in a house and not using. That, that would be a miracle. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but you just never know. We've got such a, a great a community around us. Yes, yes. Um, it would be, it I would mean, be amazing. Let's if face somebody... it, humans are wonderful creatures. People are helping those in Ukraine, and they might help somebody in the UK, which would be fantastic. Oh, Cheers. I won't hope for much, but you know. Down the hatch. Here's to the future. You got a mucky van, Richard. I know. A bird has just pooped on my van, my lovely shiny van, and Wasn't I. And not that bird. kind of a bird. Ah. Fatted. Now listen, we've come to a mysterious location. I thought we were going to go to Crobra to catch up with Tim and his van, but the instructions that we've got on the sat-nav have taken us here into a murky place in... 
Burgess Hill. But there's his van, so maybe he's in it. Let's go and have a look. It's time to check up. So you may remember what it was a week ago. Tim bought a van, a transit van, and we went with him to see it being picked up. I didn't expect he was going to get home, <laughs> but apparently he did. He did. But let's have a look. Here's his van, and uh, I don't really know if there's any work's been going on on it. Maybe, um, maybe it's just been slacking all this time. Has it? Uh, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Hello, Tim. Hello there. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, mate. Yeah. Yeah. You're now. This isn't Crowborough. This isn't Crowborough. This Explain is. Explain what's this going is on. Burgess Hill. Which yes, is... we realised that. <laughs> So you couldn't get it to Crowborough then, you conked it out? Conked it conked out, and uh, yeah. it was downhill to Burgess Hill. Ah. <laughs> no, it's, it's at Rachel's house, it's easier to do it here at the moment. Rachel is your partner my... Who in crime. Who jointly owns the van Who jointly owns the van, Who jointly yeah. owns the... that's yep. right, yes. Well done, yep. Joe. So, Thank you for yeah, reminding me. So, so yeah, so what have you done? What I'm just having done? a look, hang on, let's have a quick look round. Um, it, you know, I can't see it's being cleaned, it's not being polished, there's no... Doesn't seem to be any seats, a bed, a t picnic table. I mean, come yeah. on, we were going to go camping tonight. We, we were. New tyres have been fitted. Oh, um, have they? Since last weekend, four new tyres. And I've ripped all the panelling out and all the floor out since last weekend. Large pile of it, just down there. Oh, yeah. Which is off to the dump this afternoon. Oh, good idea. So, nice what's, yeah. so what's it like with the so panelling? I'll have a look. It's nice. It's it's in pretty reasonable condition. There's a few things that need sorting in there, but I'm I'm very pleased. The floor's nice. So it'll be all right once we start repaneling. Are you going to take the bulkhead out? Bulkhead is coming out today. Is it? Today. How, when you say today? Now. Now? Now. That's exciting. Well, I'm glad I was able to help there by just giving instructions at the appropriate moment because clearly they wouldn't have known what to do. But the bulkhead is out. Pretty little bow, look, that was behind the chairs. Yeah, it suits me down to the ground. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, that was very exciting, Julia. It was. It takes me back <laughs> to the time you took my bulkhead out. Mm, that's mm. Almost about the same time last year, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that. Gosh, well, this is really interesting, being able to follow somebody and their thing. And the thing is, it is slightly bigger than my van. I am a little bit envious now. I've got van envy. <laughs> Can you stand up in that one? He's got a fridge. He's got a combined cooker. I mean, mine's still very basic. I'm going to go somewhere and cry. <laughs> Don't do that. So... What about that trip to the pub Tim and I took earlier, eh? Should be on the right here. Oh, there's the um, sign. This is my shout. So whatever they, you know, whatever they serve. Whatever they serve, I can have. You can have. It's on me. You've been such a good mate. Excellent. Thank you. Oh. Ah, this looks the business. This does old 17th century coaching in. Absolutely lovely. You can imagine the old coaches coming in. The old ship, it's called, complete with an anchor. You don't get many pubs landlocked with an anchor. Tim's just gone to have a look to see if it's um, a pub or... It's now looks to be like it's somebody's home. It's somebody's home, yeah. I think with these fence panels, yeah. it's not completely derelict, is it? And just no. fenced off. I think somebody's obviously living here. And I guess that's, it's a shame. One of the things I was thinking about um, in my quest for England is what have we lost? 
And pubs, I mean, the last we, two years during the COVID pandemic, a lot of we've pubs... we lost so many. But before so, so that, many. so many were closing and we were losing them and they've become like this, uh, fenced off, public, private houses and people living... I mean, at least it's still here because yeah, I have think been knocked it's down. grade two listed. Mm. So, um, no, so I don't think they can I'm lock it down. down. Not with that, no. And you probably need the fence here, not so much to keep the people out, but to stop, stop the, the noise. noise. Yeah, uh, right it's, on the main road. It's a busy road from Lewis to Upfield. And then, just as we were leaving, crunch. Tim. <laughs> I've just hit a post, mate. <laughs> I've jinxed you. I don't know what to say, but things happen. Things happen. Um, yeah. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. I've bashed my van. <laughs> and I was so, so upset. We've gone to leave the site of the pub that's now a house. Yeah. And as you reversed out, as there I was this out. crunch. Yeah. We looked at each other in absolute <laughs> disdain. Thought, what the hell? And, and there's a bloody post. <laughs> There's a bloody post. I'm sure that bloody post wasn't there when we arrived. No, well, I don't. I but mean, hey, quite, and and now the damage. And and you just got. We both got. And you said, it's okay. It's okay. So the man who's going to fix my van, Tony and Worthing, he's got two jobs. He's got two jobs now. He's going to fix my car. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Please, please donate. Give generously. <laughs> There's two baldish blo blokes here who've smashed up their vehicles to bring you entertainment oh. and a bit of local history. You could not make it up. You couldn't. Let's oh. go and have something to eat. Yeah, mate. I need a scotch on the rocks. <laughs> God, bloody hell. A scotch on the rocks we didn't find, but a Chinese chippy in Arkfield we did. I feel a bit cheeky because um, poor old Tim's paying and um, I think it's me that's jinxed him. No, it's if, okay. I, I owe you some chips and sausages, but I can make coffee. You can make coffee? In the van. Biscuit in the van? Any biscuits? No. Just opposite is this rather lovely, somewhat salmony pinky kind of old Georgian house perhaps Regency it's got sort of bay windows on it little entrance but there at the top it's clearly where a signage would have been once hanging and it does make you wonder if perhaps that was a, an old hotel or a pub on the top of the high street here gone another piece of England salami sized that's not really an English thing, is it, salami? But thinly chopped. Our heritage disappearing. This is the life. Hmm. Smash your car and have some chips. made it to the campsite and it's just so quaint it's just lovely so lucky because there's nobody else here and in fact the the gentleman who owns it him sue and phil own it and phil came over very nice chap took the money 10 pounds 10 pounds um and i'm the only one which is uh, even better there were sheep in the field but he said oh i'll just move the sheep out the church I'm in the lee of so I might wander over there first thing I know I've already had a look at it and of course the downs with the furly beacon furl beacon um, the uh, the windmill thing at Glyndebourne that so not solar power what do you call the bloody wind farms anyway that is there it's wonderful <laughs> I 
I'm not going to see the proper sunset from here because of the tree line but it's just stunning it's stunning what a find the church is looking lovely with the clouds behind it lit and it's going to go into silhouette so I'm going to start getting myself ready for the evening and that'll be magic Sunrise is supposed to be at three minutes to five today here near Uckfield where I am and the sky is just this beautiful red. Red sky in the morning though, shepherd's warning it says, so quite how much of it I'll see. I slept well, good morning. <laughs> I've just come down the end of the field and just nipped into another field where I think I can get a better view. Um, there's a little gate there. I don't want to trespass any further, but it's five in the morning. I don't think anyone's going to know or mind. The sky is lightening up behind me. And at some point there, we should get a peep of the sun coming over. That's one of the joys that I love of the van life. It's been a curious episode this week. I'm very much enjoying this type of work, working on one week, the flag, claiming England, the prang in the van, oh no. That's just so soul destroying. I feel so bad for Tim and his car the lovely Julia moving into a caravan for a few days while she sorts out her separation. It's um, difficult times. So there's a members area, of course. Please join up because there's lots of extra videos. I'm making videos on my phone throughout the course of uh, the making this and you get to see so much more for those people who miss the regular stuff. Is it broken? This life? This country? My van? If it is, we can fix it. We can save the things we love. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>